Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can display your own ASCII text using a package called PyFiglet. Uh, if you don't like using external packages or you can't download or in, uh, install external packages or like me you just want to see if you can do it yourself in the next tutorial I'm going to do uh, which I'll post the link to I'm going to show you how you can do it without using an external package and using ASCII art text files instead. Okie dokie. So let's get started. So you can see here it will just display anything you want uh, and you can just get it to display whatever text you want or even numbers or anything else you want really. Okie dokie, good stuff. Uh, now this is an external package so you're going to have to install it. It's called PyFiglet. So on most systems like Linux or Windows all you need to do is pip install PyFiglet just like that. There we go, and uh, mine will look a little bit different um, because I've already installed it. But you should see here it'll say uh, installing, collecting, and it should install PyFiglet. There you go. Now, once that's installed, you can go into Python and we can have a play with. So, using uh, uh, Figlet, PyFiglet is really, really easy. All we need to do is import PyFiglet, uh, which will go and get the module that we need. And then a really simple example, if we just want to print something out, is we just do print, open brackets, uh, pyfiglet dot figlet format. There you go. And uh, you literally just put the text that you want to uh, that you want to print out. And there we go. And it will literally print out the text that you need in one line. And that's as complicated as it needs to be. If you want to do something a little bit more complicated with it, then it's uh, really quite simple as well. So let's say, for instance, if we want to display in the center of the screen, uh, then we can just do use the justify option, justify equals center. There we go. And as you can see, it centers somewhere near, the, um, prints it out somewhere near the center of the screen. If your um, your window buffer size here is is greater than the, the, the standard of 100, then all you need to do is to specify the width of your buffer. So width equals, I think my buffer is 110. There you go. It also comes with a variety of different fonts. Um, there's absolutely loads of different fonts to choose from. Now let me just show you here. If you want to see the list of fonts, you can do fig equals pi figlet bracket uh, by figlet dot figlet uh, and then just do figlet dot get uh, underscore fonts and this will list all of the fonts or is it that one let's have a look <laughs> nope that one there we go get fonts there you go so just do fig dot get fonts uh, just like that and it will give you a list of every single font that you can use, all the different types of fonts, which of course um, is pretty useless really, unless you know exactly what sort of font you want. Um, so really what you want it to do is to kind of go through all of the fonts and tell you what the font is and then give you a bit of a demo. Um, it doesn't come with that built in, but we can do a quick bit of, um, bit, bit of code there that will allow us to do it. So all we have to do is, okay, uh, for font in big dots, get fonts, there we go. And what we'll do here is we'll do print uh, pi figlet dot figlet format. There we go. And let's just do hello. There we go, and font equals uh, font, there we go. Um, but what we also want to do here is, we'll just close that there a second. So that will print out an example of every single font. However, really what we wanted to do is kind of also, as well as printing out the example of the font, we want to tell us which font that is. So what we want to do here at the start of the print is we'll just chuck a cheeky bit of code in here and what we'll do is we'll go, uh, we'll print out the font, there we go. Uh, and then we'll add in a backslash, there we go, backslash end new line. 
In fact, we'll put two new lines in there, so it's uh, a little bit more. Um, what can we say? A little bit, a little more space. Uh, and then we'll do a plus. There we go. And there we go. And that'll print out. It'll print out the name of the font, followed by um, all of the Figma format stuff, the actual font itself. And then what we'll do is right at the end here, do a little comma there, and we'll print out. Um, let's print out a couple more new lines as well. There we go. Just to give us a bit of space. And that hopefully now, if we do that there, that will then. Hey, there we go. It will print out every single available font, and all you all you need to do there is just scroll all the way up and down, have, and you can look right for uh, right through. There you go. There's the Star Wars font that looks really cool, and you just need to remember its name. You can look at all them Star Wars. That's the standard font that it prints in. Um, and you can just find out the font that you want. So that's a really easy way. Uh, it's also quite useful as well if you've got um, a particular, you know, something like a title of your game or something that you want to print out and you want to see exactly what that text is going to look like rather than just hello. Um, so that's really, really good. Um, there you go. I mean, that's pretty much for a uh, um, figlet font. All you need to do is once you've decided on the font that you want, all you do is you just go back to where you printed it before. Same code. Uh, let's have a look. Where's it at? So here where you printed out your... Uh, let's have a look. There you go. That's a nice simple example. So here where you printed out your figlet format here before, just specify in here which font that you want to use. So font equals... Um, that was a good one. I like the look of that one. And it will print it out slanted. Uh, also, you don't need to print it out straight away. So what you could do is, um, let's have a look. What we could do here is rather than printing out the uh, the actual text straight away with the straight inside of the print, you can assign it to a variable, um, which would then the variable is just a string with that representation, the ASCII representation there. It doesn't look like it because we've not printed it out line by line, including the new lines but it will print it out exactly as you need it, which means that you can combine it with my other tutorials. So for instance, the tutorial where you, um, say for instance, the tutorial where you change the color of the ASCII text, so you can change the color of the ASCII text, or you could get it printing out in typewriter format, line by line, slowly printing it out. So you can do some really cool effects on the ASCII art, as well as, doing just you know changing the text to large text uh, if you are interested take a look at those videos i'll put some links to them in the comments um, and that's about it if you've got any questions or suggestions then just drop me a comment thank you very much